Hello. Gosh, when I was backstage warming up, <clears throat> thinking about what I was going to say when I came out here, <clears throat> what inspires a song really is you folks right now, the energy in this house and the energy from our speakers today just been phenomenal. So I was back backstage and all these songs were coming out, like these new melodies. I was like, oh my God, I need to stay back there and turn on a tape recorder. Um, but, and I'm, I'll spare you the, what they would sound like without practice. <laughs> Uh, so this first song I'm going to play was actually inspired by a trip that uh, I took with, um, along with my wife and her sister Cindy and her mom to Africa. And uh, when I came back, I was picked up my ukulele, ukulele, pardon me, and was and a song came out. And as I was playing the song, it wasn't like I was thinking, "Oh, Africa trip, I'm inspired, I'll play a song." This this melody came out, and then all of a sudden the images from this particular day that we spent in Africa. Um, came and during that day we were uh, we were, had a vehicle that we would drive around in uh, with a guide and um, and everyone was taking pictures except for me I didn't have a camera um, I evidently take pictures in my head instead of with a camera and we came across a pack of wild African dogs which is kind of a rare um, thing a rare sighting and they were sleeping underneath the trees and we so we, the guide said let's just come back in a couple hours when the light starts to fade because they'll start hunting and we can maybe we can watch them hunt something and sure enough we came back and they started this hunt uh, hunting uh, a kudu which is a, a large furry animal and fortunately for the kudu it got away by um, jumping into a pond and it was kind of cool because these animals they hunt by something running if you don't run you have a better chance of survival for this particular uh, animal and so the kudu jumped into a pond and just stood there and the other dog stood up on this bank and kind of watched as one other dog went around and tried to entice him to run and, and it wouldn't so their hunt was over so they went off so my song is basically the soundtrack in my mind of that day and it's called out on the kalahari
Thank you very much, and thanks to my wife um, and Cindy and her and our guide for the photos. I should have said that earlier. Uh, the next song I'm going to play is actually inspired uh, by this ukulele. And um, when I was building this ukulele, uh, it was destined to go to a, a client in Germany. And uh, a couple nights before it was to be shipped, it was hanging in my shop from the ceiling. And we had a storm that night, and the roof leaked. Um, long story short, it, the water ran down the neck and into this little side sound hole here and filled it with water. And so when I came in, it was looked very deformed. It had the, uh, the look of, uh, of a basketball, and it was still holding water quite well, so I thought, well, maybe I could make a canteen out of it, if not a, a ukulele. Uh, anyway, I hung it in the corner and thought, well, that's too bad, a little bit hopeless. And, um, but actually, a couple months later, I went back to, and my shop's climate controlled, so it was very dry in there, and uh, it dried out, and it, it had some problems, and I fixed them, and, and and it was designed to be a steel string. To, this one's nylon strings. And so when I put the steel strings on, it, uh, actually when I was putting the first strings on, I heard a cracking sound. I was like, oh, and, and a piece fell out because <laughs> I guess the glue doesn't like water. Uh, and I ended up making it into a nylon strung ukulele, and, um, and which kind of gave me hope. And so this is the name of this song. is called Hope. <laughs> Thank you.